Um, I'm gonna make it back to the, uh, the swamp house I've been talking about showing you all, so uh, stick around. Our squirrel's been sitting, having dinner. Well, there it is. <laughs> I'm John Opper, and you're watching Sliding with Sasquatch. Greetings, welcome back. Hey, today I'm gonna make a trek through the swamp here, and I'm gonna take you on out to the swamp palace I built uh, years ago. Um, used to have a walkway to it, but it's collapsed, as you've probably seen in a previous video, or maybe I haven't even put that in a video yet. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna bushwhack through the swamp and get out to this, uh, it's basically a covered screen porch in the middle of the swamp and I'm gonna strengthen that up and reshore it and turn it back into a uh, pretty viable bug out shelter. Um, I doubt many people wanna wade through a swamp um, during any kind of uh, incident and it's pretty well uh, hidden back here so um, I'm gonna go ahead, fix it up, and uh, you guys can watch as I put this thing back together. So um, let's get back there. Ah, uh, yeah, I built this thing years ago. With leftover material from job sites and generators and nail guns. It took me a while, but I got it built. But it's been years, and nothing lasts forever. Um, I kept up a few bits of the of the deck but it's long since started to deteriorate and uh, got to get that thing put back together I don't want the ramp going to it anymore because I want this thing to kind of be hidden so I'm just gonna strengthen up the structure itself close in the sides and the walls and uh, make it pretty comfortable place to hang out uh, no matter what the weather. It's been through hurricanes and all kinds of stuff so I ain't worried about being in it during a hurricane even. But uh, the other walkway is pretty overgrown and I'd rather come into it from this direction which is a just got the bushwhack a trail and mark it. So I've got a few places already um, cleared out through here and you can just See what we can find, the best, easiest way to get there. Gotta have waders on for sure, unless you want two soakers. No, I'm not Canadian. But I did grow up on Bob and Doug Kenzie, and I know what soakers are. My brother and I used to say that drowning in beer was like heaven, eh? Now he's not here, and I got two soakers. This isn't heaven. <laughs> Today's special beverage is from Sweetwater, 420 strain G13 IPA. Whoo, that's some skunky tasty goodness.
there's quite a few trails out here. Just got to keep an eye out uh, for water moccasins. There shouldn't be too many around this time of year. It's getting kind of cool. Although, sometimes I'll sit up on the side. It's kind of this late in the year. But it's not, not like that. Nice little open area right up here. Very pretty. Come check it out. Nice and open. Get up out of this deep water. Actually make a little forward movement. Haha. Uh -huh. Squirrel's been sitting, having dinner. Nice. I like his kitchen. Big old cypress there is dead. I have to remember where that's at. I come back and cut that down and use it for some projects around the house. We don't run out of battery before we get where we're going. Wow, I just love my swamp. I can just start to see. There's my. I don't know if you can see it. I can see my swamp house through the trees. We're almost there. I want you to see <laughs> the size 
of these bottoms they can get out here. This is a small one too. Some of the more senior trees got a way bigger brow bottom on them. Well, there it is. <laughs> the swamp house. I built that oh, 12 years ago. Uh, still standing. Definitely gonna need some structure repair. Clean up the screens, add some walls to it. It's got a good metal roof. The structure sound. Um, just need to clean it up, put some solar on it. And this is a very, very secluded, hard to find spot to get to, being that it's in a swamp. And um, yeah, I think this is gonna be my main bug out place. Now I'll have a couple other ones spread out through the swamp, but let me show you around. Get home again. Ah, yeah. oh, man, what a place to be, eh? About 14 by 20, or is 16 by 20? 16 by 20, metal roof, completely screened in, surrounded by nothing but beauty. Nothing but beauty. And the reason I would close the sides in is to make it a little bit more comfortable during storms and bad weather. But one time I had a little clay fireplace out here, chimney, and uh, Little table, got chairs. I replaced this walkway uh, about two years ago, but the rest of it going on down the way is definitely completely shot, so we're not going to be used to messing with that. <laughs> well, as I was stepping out here to show you this nice little curved walkway, which is definitely in disrepair, this section of the deck here, besides it wants to give way, so venture to say that path is a dangerous one, but I plan on taking a good bit of that out. And uh, what I'll end up doing is coming in this way. If I'd have kept going down that watery, deep trench, that straight shot, it would probably brought me right out here. So that'd be more of a straight shot than the way I went. But it was deeper water. And uh, I just wanted to get up and look at the beautiful scenery. And here's a shot back toward a beautiful swamp house. Honestly, I should probably be living out here all the time. <laughs> it's really, it really is a place to be. But if you're like me, you're a slave to this system and you gotta keep working to pay the bills or I couldn't enjoy this place. Let's go have a seat. Maybe I can start a fire on my 
floor in there. I do have some tile left over and some lava rocks. I can probably get a nice little fire going in there. No shortage of material to burn, that's for sure. Maybe right there. All ready to go. Now they say higher dryer, but can't resist easy pickings. I don't have my favorite starting material right here. I'd have to go travel a few hundred yards into the swamp to find a palmetto bush. But let's see what we can do right here. Now I do have on myself a Wazoo survival belt. I picked that up. The belts are really nice. They're about 40 bucks, a little cheaper. But the kit that goes in them is what it's gonna cost you. But it's all the stuff that's right size to fit in the belt. And let me tell you, that's a great belt. I've used it quite a bit. It's durable. Um, I carry a holster on it, um, not wearing out. Um, so that was between that and a Wazoo fire necklace, um, <laughs> you can always start a fire anywhere. So let me go ahead and get one going and uh, just sit down and relax from the trek out here. Man, what a view. Here's a Wazoo uh, survival belt I was telling you about. American made. Wazoo, also got the fire necklace. Comes with a ferro rod and a porcelain striker. Interesting thing about this belt, you can carry all kinds of stuff. Kind of compass light, fish hook, fishing rod, wire, string, paracord, flashlights, reflector rod, water filter, water bag, all kinds of good stuff. I can't even name it all. Let me get that out of there. It's a nice little piece of fire starter. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the Swamp House. Um, I'll be bringing more videos on the upgrades on it and uh, putting some more uh, shots of the swamp out there too. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, um, hit the subscribe and, um, and the like button. And um, I'm gonna try to get some more videos out and hopefully, uh, <laughs> the YouTube thing will help pay the property taxes. That'd be a cool little trick, right? Until next time, I'm John Opper, and here's Sliding with Sasquatch.